wow, this one is very heavy. Greetings to you all. We are in Marsh Dairy Farm. When I was here, I was blessed with goat milk. So that's why, even for me, I wanted to use goat milk for my family because it has high immunity in it, and especially calcium, and it is very healthy. This milk is from this goat for one session. I have goats, but I also have rabbits, but I prefer goats. Here at Marsh Farm, we have pure breed, that is Togenberg, Alpine, and also Sunen. Greetings to you all. AIM Agriculture is at Marsh Dairy Goat Farm in Kahawa West. We meet a young, enthusiastic lady, very passionate on dairy goat farming. Go there. She has won several awards and her back this year was awarded the champion in the Nairobi National Agricultural Show. Wow, we can't wait to listen to her story, how she started and how she grew just from two goats to over 70 goats and she tells us where the market of this milk is what are the feeds that these goats ought to feed and this is the one and only mrs masharia and if you are new to our youtube channel guys kindly hit the subscribe button like and share as much as you can welcome i'm violet macharia from Marsh Farm, it is located in Kaha West. We lay day day goat, we keep them for milk. Uh, I have three types of goat, that is Togenberg, Sunen, and also Alpine. Togenberg, they can produce even more than three, three liters per day. And they have the, they are the one, they have the thickest production of milk. Sunen is white in color. It can do in not very hot and also it is not very cold. They are medium and it has the highest production of milk. It can give more than five liters per day. More than lit five liters per day. Then I have German Alpine that is brown in color and also that can do in any climate, either hot or cold. And it also gives you the four to five liters per day. I started 2017 with two little young goat. They had four months and I wanted to keep them so as I can get milk for my family. So I started then the, the next year, that was 2020, 2018, they started giving milk. And every day I, could, I got six liters per day. I wake up at 5.30, I come and feed daily meal. Then after a few minutes, I come and milk the, my goats. Then after an hour, for an hour, I'm already finished milking. Then I feed them with dry matter, that is hay or bomarodis. Then after that, I go back to my house, then I 
prepare my breakfast then after that this the time now i start doing the cleaning i keep a maximum of 70 goods in this farm and remember it is a, a urban farming I've, I've sold some after coming out of show show ground and for now I've, i have few but i'm still going um breeding again this year our male goat was champion and we were rewarded by our president. I feed on dry matter, that is Lusan and Bomalodes, and sometimes I use silage. Also, I give them minerals like salt and also we usually sometimes give even daily meal after having feed good housing and also water you should have a pure breed so as it can give you a good production the biggest challenge I've, i had was feeding i was feeding with green matter but I started researching and I started giving dry matter and I got the best production. The demand of goat milk is very high so I encourage you to keep dairy goats. I'm fine, thank you. Ah, you're doing a very good job. Thank you. Wow, I cannot believe that this is a 40 by 60 plot. Yeah. But you're keeping how many goats? Uh, maximum we keep 70, uh -huh. but for now we have about 40. Ah, good. Okay. Where do you take your manure? We sell the manure. You sell? Yeah. You mean there's a market for everything? Yeah, we, there is market for everything. Wow. Yeah. What about the milk? The milk we usually sell also, mm -hmm. and it is not enough. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, the milk has a high demand. Mm. Yeah. Wow. wow. How much is a liter? A liter costs 200 shillings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 200? Yeah, per and liter. You, and your goods give you how many liters per day? Uh, it can. For now, it is. It, I collect. I milk about 20 liters. 20 liters a day. Yeah, for now. Times 200 shillings a day. Guys, even if you deduct the feed, the cost of feeds and labor, still you're left with some profit. Yeah. And remember, she's also selling the, the, the breeding stock. Yes. Wow. So you sell them according to the ages? Yeah, we sell them according to ages from four months on now. Wow. Yeah. wow. When you started, I'm sure it was a difficult journey. Yeah. How many goats did you start with on the first day? I had two Detro uh -huh. goats. Mm -hmm. That was 2017. You bought from somebody? Yeah, I bought from someone. Uh -huh. mm. Were they pure or they just the Kenyaji? They were pure. Oh. B yeah, they were pure goats. Pure. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And then you throw them up slowly. Yeah, slowly by slowly until 2018, where they, they mature, they gave young ones. Uh, now you can see the fruits. Yeah, now I can see the fruits. Guys, from a very humble story that we get from Mrs. Masharia, being born in a family that was used to consumption of goat milk, and coming to town on a very small space and starting slowly by slowly with two goats to being awarded by the president as a champion. I was so happy when I saw that. Thank you. And that gives us the humbleness. And it tells you that anybody can start yeah. and anybody can make it. 
what message do you have for the young youth who are watching us? You as a youth and also as a young mother. Okay. I can encourage them to keep daily goods because they occupy small space and also they feed very little. For a, a goat, it can take only one and a half kg per day. One and a half kg? Per day. Wow. Guys, you've heard it from the horse's mouth. And I'm so happy. Okay. And thank you so much okay. for hosting us. Thank I've you. shared Mrs. Masharia's number in the description. Also in this video it's running on the screen. Whenever you want to consult more, you want to buy some goods, you can always reach her out. By the way, you said you also keep pigs and rabbits. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You sell the rabbits? Yeah. Maybe you could tell them. Which yeah. breed of rabbit do you have? We have some type of breed that is Agora, New Zealand, Flemish Giant. And also we have California. So if you are interested in rabbits and goats and also training, yeah. you call her and you get sorted. Thank you so, so much for hosting us. Welcome. We can't wait to come back again and see these structures full.